it's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Houston Texans and the Green Bay Packers next on Madden Football. The address is 1265 Lombardi Avenue. The place is known as Title Town. Welcome inside legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Good to be in the booth with Greg Olson. I'm Mike Tirico. Greg, this is a passing league. You know that from your days. It's evolved even more into a game in the air. And boy, do we have a couple of quarterbacks who know all about moving their team via the pass. Yeah, and I think we're going to see this ball thrown early and often throughout the game. And anyone who loves offensive football, this is certainly a treat. And you said it, Mike. This league has turned more and more with each passing season into a passing league. If you can't throw, if you can't generate points through the air and explosive plays, it is going to be very difficult to compete and win week in and week out in today's modern NFL. About ready to get this one started. Amy Fairbairn ready to kick it off. And off we go from legendary Lambeau. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Here comes the pack, and here comes Jordan Love. Fifth season quarterback, but Greg just his second as a starter, waited his turn, and had a really good first year as a starter. Took a little while for him to get his chance to be a full-time starter, but once he got that shot, he just never looked back. I mean, Mike, think, he's always had that power for him. He can push the ball up and down the field and make every throw imaginable. But that time he spent on the sideline, I think it ended up being a massive blessing in disguise. He was able to work on his game from a mental and technical standpoint with no pressure to play. And now he is reaping all the benefits. And he'll bring this across the 30-yard line. It's a pickup of four. Here's a second and six. Once again, it's Jacobs. He is met and dropped. Good defense. Loss of a couple on that play. The speed and the get off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. Here's third and seven. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast, and tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. The Texans come out with the rookie of the year from last year in the NFL. C.J. Stroud, he was the number two overall pick out of Ohio State. Greg, a talented quarterback here. If there's going to be a poster child for just how flawed the pre-draft process can be at times, I think this guy's at the top. I mean, just think, last year, people are nitpicking him going into his rookie year. He can't do this. He can't do that. And what does he do? He comes out and has arguably the greatest rookie quarterback season in NFL history, not only bringing his franchise back to life, but really establishing himself as one of the best quarterbacks in the entire league. I wouldn't be surprised if some point here in the future, Mike, this quarterback drops back. It looks like the same old hitch route underneath we've seen a few times. And they give a pump fake and go. You can lull a defense to sleep with a lot of these underneath quick game passes. And once you do, you can try to go for the big one. A second down throw for Stroud. To the left side. Caught by Schultz. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield. But with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage... He's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. They'll throw here on third and short yardage. And that is incomplete. He was looking for Stephon Diggs there. 
And that's going to lead to a fourth down. Remember what they told us, Mike, leading up to this game. They said it is so critical for us to find success, especially on third down. We want to maintain possession, extend these drives. Well, the first crack comes up, and they fail through the air, and we're going to have to regroup and be able to have better success throughout the remainder of this game. Now, fair catch called, and he's going to take it out beyond the 25-yard line. The Packers offense ready to get going with their second possession. They'll search for the first points of this game as they begin the drive on first and ten. From the gun, it's Love. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. Well, can't afford another incompletion here. Quickly, it is third and ten. He manages to get the throw away and completes it. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Back-to-back -back three and outs, and not ideal to start the game in that manner. So that's a really important throw right there. Let's see if they can build something from there. Brings up first and ten. Continue to let your opening script unfold. you got to go down and find some points here and get your offense settled down. Set to go now on first and ten. Here's Jacobs. A gain of four as he's taken down. Here's second and six. Love to throw. The catch is made. This is Tucker Kraft. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch. But I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. They'll run the draw with Jacobs. And he'll get forward for a couple. It's second down. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And the defense there to meet him. They'll hold him to two and bring up third down. Now Love. And on third down, that ball incomplete. I'd say one of the most critical elements of a dynamic offense, Mike, is how efficient are you on third down? It's something these teams stress all week. Here's an opportunity to continue to extend this drive. The defense wins this time and brings up fourth down. His kick will split the uprights. It's good. And the Packers will take a 3-0 lead. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal.
So after the field goal to open up the scoring, the kicker's back out for this kickoff. This field in at about the nine. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Texans offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Stroud. That's into the hands of Dell on the right side. Here's second and nine. Man acquired by trade in the offseason, it's Joe Mixon. And he'll move this forward out to the 29-yard line. The veteran, Kenny Clark, in on the stop. What can they do here on third down and seven? So just a lone field goal in the first quarter of play. 3-0 is our score. And we're back at Lambeau Field in just a moment. From the gun here on third down, it's Stroud. That is knocked away downfield, incomplete. He made sure not to let the receiver get behind him. Third down stop sets up fourth down. So often we see when those balls get deflected up into the air, they usually turn into interceptions. I think the offense dodged the bullet here, and they're fortunate there was nobody in the area to come down with that pick. Now, fair catch, and he'll take it at about the 24-yard line. Out comes the Green Bay offense now as they get set to take over again. They'll look to build on their 3-0 lead as this drive starts with a first and 10. Here's Love. This one on target, it's Dobbs. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second and three to go. A handoff running left, it's Jacobs. He will get this to the 35, a little short of the first down. You don't need much, it is third and inches. To throw is Luck. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. A uh, fair catch signal. And taken at about the 18-yard line. The Houston offense going to make their way back onto the field. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten.
They'll go play action with Stroud. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. We've seen a little bit of a transformation play out across that defensive tackle position. I mean, years ago, Mike, they were the big run stuffers. They were big bodies in there just trying to slow down the interior run game. Now, these guys are not only big, but they're real athletes. Their job is to not only push the pocket, but win one-on-one -on -one and get sacks like that. I don't think we give them enough credit for how good they are as pass rushers from the interior. He'll be hit as he throws this time, and it's going to fall incomplete. They might be fortunate just to avoid the sack, and it'll set up a third down. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. That's caught right side, the tight end, Schultz. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. To return, it's Nixon. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. The Packers offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. to throw is love completes this one that's Christian Watson and they're going to work this down inside the 45 this is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes he has the defender thinking everything is a go ball attack him vertically and then when you get to your route depth you stick that foot in the ground you break in balls on time Results in a nice first down pickup. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And a strong first down run. A pickup of Knox. Setting up second and short. Back to throw is Love. That'll be caught. It's Josh Jacobs. And they'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. You get so caught up defending all of these weapons all over the field, and it's sometimes really easy to forget about the back. And in this case, the quarterback does a nice job just dropping the ball off in his check down, and he lets him do the rest. Off the play fake. Here's Love. He's got it inside the five. And he's very close to a touchdown. They mark him just shy of the goal line. Well, they certainly aren't wasting any time marching down the field. I mean, you only need one hand to count how many plays they've run, and yet they find themselves first and goal inside the low red zone. From the one-yard line, first down and goal. Here's Jacobs. And he will not get in from there. In fact, I think he was shoved backwards a little bit. Two minutes remain in a 3-0 first half. Back with more from Lambeau Field. After this, another one from the five. Second down and goal. Throwing is love. To the goal line and in. Christian Watson. Touchdown Packers.
extra point attempt still to come. He gets it to go, and the Packers are out to a 10-0 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Now return coming from the seven. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin then. The Texans offense back onto the field for their next possession. And nothing doing from the offense just yet. Down 10-0 as they come up with first and 10. the gun here Stroud the pressure gets there and down he goes back inside the 20 yard line really nice start for this defense here early through the first quarter two different players each reporting a sack offensive line is going to have to get together on the sideline with their coach and identify where's the weakness in our protection how can we get extra bodies and extra attention because we still got a long way to go in this one Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Here's Stroud. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Tank Dell was the one he was looking for. And third down coming up. Really just been a combination of errors here on this drive. I mean, the sack on first down put him in a bad spot. Then the incompletion there trying to gain it back on second. And... Now they find themselves in a critical third down here, or they're facing a three and out. On third down, here's a run by Mixon. The Packers go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll discuss what's to come as fourth down is looming. Here's Tommy Townsend now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. This fielded inside the 35. And he'll be brought down, short return, and they'll take over there. Jordan Love, the rest of the Packer offense, ready for their next possession. They've got the 10-0 advantage here early. And we'll see if they can add to it. Beginning on this drive, first and ten. Here's Love. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Markham at the 48-yard line. And now you can see they're really getting in rhythm in this two-minute drive. Now, after that last completion, Mike, they cross midfield. Now the mindset goes to, all right, we got to come away with some points. They've got a quarterback who's in complete control, and they got to see if they can finish this thing off. And that ball led him too far, maybe too wide. Out of bounds, incomplete. Pretty clear approach here, Mike. You're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender, and... You're just saying box them out and go up for an offensive rebound and get the ball at its highest point. In this case, it falls incomplete, but if they continue to get that matchup, this quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot. So on a day where he's completed, give or take half of his passes, Mike, you have to imagine there's a handful of throws he'd like to have back, and I think that last one falls in that category. But the biggest thing, and most fortunately for them, they find themselves with a lead despite a bit of an up-and-down performance out of their quarterback. From the gun, on third down. That's over the middle and intercepted. 
That's the linebacker, Aziz Al Shire. And he is going to score a pick six for the touchdown. And the defense finds the end zone. Great work inside by the linebacker who takes it back the other way for the touchdown. Yeah, and he just never saw the linebacker in the middle of the field, Mike, and the quarterback was locked in on his receiver. And once that ball came out of his hand, I think he wanted it back. Now, Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Texans are on the board. It's 10 to 7. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The Packers offense going to get it one final time in this first half. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Here's Love to throw. That's Dobbs open left side. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. That's a timeout for Green Bay. It'll be their second. And they stop it with 19 seconds to go in this opening half. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. A good play action with Love. He's got it at about the 8. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. A huge play just before the half. And with just four seconds left in the first half, a timeout is called. And even 30 yards. The Packers going to call out the field goal unit. This, about as short as you can get. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Packers going to tack on three more. Extending the lead here late in the first half. So, two seconds left to play, and the kick's away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he will not bring it up. It's a touchback, and this drive will begin at the 30-yard line. First and 10. to throw is Stroud. He will let this go. Deep downfield for Dell. That's going to be incomplete. They took a shot on the final play. Prayer not answered. And that is how this first half will come to an end.
All right, Michael, thanks very much as we welcome you into our downtown Orlando studios and the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was the Packers' leading man, quarterback Jordan Love, who turned in a solid performance in that first half. He connected on a touchdown pass in that first half, and that's a big part of why his guys lead at the break. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. Both teams ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. On the return, it's Damian Pierce. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Texans offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. The deficit, six points. A touchdown here would be mighty nice for the offense. See what they can do on this drive. First and ten. play action Stroud this is caught downfield it's Dell can't ask for much more 22 yards on the first play of the drop these crossing concepts are frequently used Mike throughout the entire game all across the league and what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs you run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch and it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game Here's Mixon. And the woes in the running game continue. They're going to subtract yards there. A loss on the play. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down. But as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. They'll go right back to Mixon. Mixon has the first down and more. What a run. He brings it to the red zone. Taken down inside the 20-yard line. Big hole up the middle. The interior of this offensive line did a great job clearing some space. The back saw it quick, and he hit it. The next thing you know, he was in the secondary for a big pickup. They will not get this one off. It'll be a delay of game. Now, Stroud. Now he'll run it. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Stroud going to set up to throw. The second down throw is incomplete. Well, it's pretty clear the main reason why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the inefficiency of this offense and primarily out of the quarterback position. I mean, to complete less than half of your pass attempts, it just makes it very hard to compete at a high level consistently in the NFL. And if they want to find themselves having any chance of getting back into this game and winning this one, he's going to have to get a lot better with the ball. That's caught. It's Joe Mixon. The initial reaction is, how does this quarterback not throw the ball past the first down line to gain to try to extend this drive? And the reality is, because they've already decided they're going to go for it on fourth down. If he doesn't pick up the extra yards after the catch, they've got a fourth down play call they feel great about. And we're going to see what it looks like. Fair Barron's kick is good. 
And the Texans will cut the lead from six down to three. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through and they get three. Baron after making the field goal heads back out to kick this one away on the return here's Jaden Reed he'll work his way across the 25 yard line the Packers offense trotting back out for their first involvement of this second half they'll do so with first and ten On play action, Love. He'll tuck it and take off. And will mark him down just shy of the 40. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. So from the 39, they come up on first and 10. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. On second down, Love. Quickly to the outside and complete. He'll be out of bounds, but after picking up the first down on a gain of seven. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. That's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. Shotgun draw, trying to catch him off guard here, Mike, but the defense was having none of it. Thought it took a little too long to develop. Gave that defense enough time to get back there, stop him for no gain. Now give to Jacobs. He'll run right. He'll get him behind his blockers. Get forward for a pickup of three. Jimmy Ward that time shuts it down. Off the play pick, he'll look to throw. He gets that complete as he hits Reed. And he's out of bounds, but not until he gets inside the 25-yard line. Really showing off the elusiveness after the catch. That's a gain of 26. Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays, and these drag routes can be very, very effective. Toward the middle, that one caught by Watson. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. The key to good route running, Mike, is deceiving the man covering you into thinking you're doing one thing, and then you change it and do the other. And in this case, he had the defender thinking this was a vertical downfield route, and then next thing you know, he gets to his break point, he breaks in, and that ball's put right on the money for a big pickup. So, three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Here's second and two. 
out of the shotgun. It's Love. He'll get that complete to Dontavian Wicks. This drive's going to continue. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal for his team. I really like the balance that they've showed so far on this drive, Mike. And what that does is it makes the defense have to defend the entire field. The run game and the pass game. Everything looks the same. There's no tells. So and he's into the end zone. That might be the knockout punch. Tucker Kraft. Touchdown, Green Bay. Everything you want to do right there, Greg, in the fourth quarter, get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two-score advantage. Yeah, and I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. Extra point try forthcoming. He's got it. And the Packers will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away here's Pierce for the return he's across the 20 taken down just shy of the 25 the Texans offense starting to trot out for this next possession the deficit is at 10 so an important drive forthcoming getting started with first and 10 From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase and what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. And it's exactly what they did here. And there was nowhere for the ball to go. And he's forced to just throw it away. They try to work the screen with Mixon. And he'll be brought down up past the 35-yard line. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. So, Mike, at the core of a successful zone replay is that the quarterback understands which defender is he responsible for. That is the defender they're trying to put in a bind. In this case, he chooses the runner, the quarterback pulls the ball, and he's able to take off for a big game. Dell motioning over. Off the play fake. Here's Stroud. That one caught by Tank Dell. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. Things certainly look a little improbable right now, Mike, but I wouldn't say impossible. I think they've got to capitalize on this possession to pick up some points. Good start there. Early completion. But now they've got to get across midfield and go. Every single possession right now is priceless. Points, possessions, and then they got to get some defensive stops. That's to the big ticket acquisition, Stefan Diggs. And he gets marked out of bounds, but inside the five-yard line. Just his first catch. They have held him in check so far. But that one gives him a first down.
They'll go play action with Stroud. First and goal. The quarterback thinks he's got a shot to take this one in himself. I think he's just a little late in his reaction and decision to turn into a runner. Defense has just enough time to get there. They stop him short of the end zone. Second and goal. From the one, second and goal. Off play action. Under pressure, and now he's going to go down back at the eight-yard line. That last sack is exactly why defensive coaches preach over and over. Just play the next down. Just continue to make them snap the ball again. You're one big defensive play from changing everything about this drive. And what once looked like a promising drive, following that sack, looks a little bit different now. Two plays at their disposal, but they'd love to get it right here on third and goal. Adds to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. Teams practice these situations all week long, Mike. Down here in the tight red zone, you find yourself inside the 10-yard line. You're thinking, we've got to come away with a touchdown. Well, after that third down incomplete, it's going to be real interesting to see how they approach this fourth down after failing on third. And this one right down the middle. It's good. And they are indeed back within one score. Yeah, he does a nice job handling that kick there. But I think offensively, you come back to the sideline and you're thinking, we have to find a way to finish these drives. I mean, to be in first and goal and settle for three, that can be very deflating for an offense settling for too many field goals. So the field goal makes it a one-score game here in the fourth quarter as they kick it away. This returnable with Reed. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The home team's offense and quarterback Jordan Love heading back out there. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. You've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. break the huddle coming up now for first and ten on the ground it's Jacobs to start the drive 12 yards on the game that's good for a quick first down nice pick up there by Jacobs and I really like this signing this offseason Mike I mean with the departure of Aaron Jones going to Minnesota they know how important that backfield is alongside Jordan Love. Can he help this Packers offense take that next step forward and certainly done his part so far? In motion, Reed. That one on target to Watson. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. Everyone talks about all the physical qualities to play quarterback in the NFL, Mike, and of course that's a given, but it's really the cerebral approach to the game that separates the best from everybody else, and I think both of those things were on display there, as he did not only a great job of finding the vulnerabilities of the back end, but then once his guy was there, it was that arm talent that put the ball in the exact right spot to allow his guy to make the big play. They'll run it straight ahead with Jacobs. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. Fourth quarter, you find yourself protecting a one-possession lead. It's a fine line, Mike, between do I keep the ball on the ground, continue to work the clock, or stay aggressive, try to extend this lead to a multiple-possession game. That's the balance this play caller is dealing with right now. Line of scrimmage is the 15. It's first and 10. The man in motion is Watson. They'll run out of the gun with Jacobs. And he surges forward for a gain of about five. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, they'll use another timeout on this side of it at 155.
They'll come up here on second down and five. They'll run with Jacobs. And he's close to the first down. Gets four yards on the game, but it will bring up third down. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They'll try to run it here with Jacobs. And he will get into the end zone. Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, Packers. And that's exactly how you stress all week finishing a game. Get the ball and leave no doubt. But that late touchdown, Mike. That should all but just seal this victory away. They'll line it up to kick the extra point. The kick is good. And the Packers are going to extend their lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Here's Pierce for the return. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The visitor's offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here, and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. They'll drop to throw. Oh, he's going to be bottled up and taken down. They got him. That is the veteran Preston Smith. Worked his way in there for the sack. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. That'll be taken in by Mixon. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. Defensive coordinators preach all the time, play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. The crowd cranking it up another notch before third and long. He's got his tight end. It's Schultz. A great connection there. They're going to bring it down inside the 35-yard line. Defensively, you put so much effort about defending the middle of the field. You know that's the valuable real estate every offense is looking to attack. But what does that do, Mike? It makes you a little susceptible to the throws outside the numbers, and it leads to a chunk play. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Can't exactly put my finger on it, but it just seems like this entire game, like this passing game and this quarterback specifically, they've just been off. And whether it's missing these big shots downfield like he did there or just simple underneath layups, there's just something about him today that doesn't look right. And I think it's a big part of the reason they find themselves trailing here in the fourth quarter.
The Lambeau faithful making as much noise as they can before third down. Stroud. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. So, it's a win for the Packers. They use a little home cooking here. They play a complete football game. And they send their fans home quite happy. So, that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. The Packers are winners, as we say so long from legendary Lambeau Field.